Um, well, it was a brilliant start. You know, you could feel the emotion in the stadium. I think the boys fed off that. Um, great start for us. Was it one? I don't know. Eight? Was it eight? Twelve minutes like that? Eight minutes. Um, <laughs> and then very quickly, just showed too much naivety, really, and a lack of lack of technical quality. You know, I think Cads gives the ball away. Just um, a bit hot potato, wasn't it? Everywhere in terms of the ball and. You know, we, we've been so confident, so settled, but you come against a team like Rangers, you're moving up a level. You've got to be brighter in your mind, you know, your touch has got to be softer. You've got to know your next pass that little bit quicker. And all around the pitch, um, we were just nowhere near good enough. You have to give credit to them. I thought they were snappy, they were honest. I thought Ryan Kent was outstanding in terms of uh, running the game from that central area of the pitch. Um, and you know our players need to step up in these games. It's as simple as that. You know we've conceded chances and goals like really fully our own doing. You know if you take the second and third, there's there's two like naive and big mistakes. We've got a centre forward taking a throw in in our deep third that then throws it to the other one that then gives the ball away and then they go they go and cut through us like a hot knife through butter because we're not organised and not set so you know in these games you've got to be you've got to be smarter, you've got to know the time to control the tempo you've got to know the time to speed it up we carried a threat in the first half I thought like Ellie has been really confident lately and I don't know whether that just slipped into a bit of complacency but or just the fact that it was like say the game was one level higher um, but it didn't quite have the same influence on the game that he has done but at the same time he still got in a couple and really we should have equalised probably to make it 2-2 and then maybe we got we got a second wind but I haven't got any complaints in terms of um, you know the final result they were the better side they were better individuals and they were the better team could do I mean we've got to guard against that obviously you know I think that um, like seven unbeaten from the boys before this game you know and uh, they've done ever so well to turn around what's been a tough run you know we showed a lot of spirit um, and I think it's a, it's another game that we've just got to learn our lessons this is still quite a young team you know like Will Fish he's been outstanding he, he, he went through the ringer today in terms of like the movement the pace the, like, he's made some great last ditch tackles but <laughs> He's got to learn to, to, you know what I mean, to defend better, and therefore you don't have to put yourself in those last-ditch situations. But um, there was just too many under-par Hibs players today, and, and that's obviously Rangers' quality and their physicality and their experience and their speed and their speed of thought. Um, but I was disappointed because every time I go into these games, I honestly believe that we've got a chance, and I, and I really felt that today. And Certainly, like I say, in the spells that we had, um, we looked more than competent, but just too many uh, were too average today. Given the way you go, you don't lose points that often. Is it, is it almost one that's a three-year you know, shot and you now just have to focus on the league below them almost? Do you, know? Do you know what? It's a really difficult for me, as the sort of person I am, to think like that. You know, I've got to be careful, because I'm not sure whether I may have knocked the boys' confidence after the... 6 1 sort of park head, you know, we went on a, a bit of a bad run after that, so you're still getting to know your players all the time. And but within me, I'm desperate to, to still show off what we're about at Hibs. You know, when we play well, uh, we've got running power, we've got threats, we've got guile, we've got control, we've got compactness in and out of possession. And, and I've come back to like teams I've managed before have always competed well against like higher opposition, whether it be an FA Cups and stuff like that. So I won't lie, that, that bit is, is niggling away at me a little bit um, because I'm desperate to, um, to prove to the fan base, to prove to ourselves you know, that we can actually infiltrate, certainly in one-off games, and get closer to these guys. Thanks. 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 Thanks.